we're dealing with information that's occurring at such high rate of collection with volumes that are probably well beyond what you're used to seeing in, in most environments. I'm looking at one day's worth of activity with 609,000 total events. Now, no one can possibly get through 600,000 events in a day and make any sense of them. So it's the understanding that the system must not only take in that much massive uh, data, but also to normalize that data down to relevant smaller numbers to reduce the volume of activity so you can deal with, with manageable numbers and volumes like this. We've, we've correlated it down to 2,300 but then also to take the severity ranking system and build this model that allows you to start ranking these by their associated risk category. But more so, it's the ability with which you can then query the system at the same time as, as insert into it, and more importantly, drill down into the, the asset that's relevant for the specific incident you're looking for. Whether you know what to look for or not, the system must be able to adapt to your level of, of understanding of the data and query appropriately. So I can add very simple expressions like, I, I like to see every source IP in the 6913 slash 24 subnet. All right, that's an easy request. Do that as a filter, and now I'm looking at not 609, I'm looking at 520,000 events. I'm narrowing it down very quickly. Of those, st starting with the source IP in that range, I want to also watch for events where the destination port maybe is one of our web ports. And that's a variable that maps to 80, 80, 80, and 443 behind the scenes, but you can change that whatever you need. And you can just keep asking it new questions, and we'll start responding back with relevant information. In this case, I've narrowed it down to 4,100 total events, none of which were correlated and normalized, normalized though. So I'm going to go back for a minute. And let's look at the information in higher levels of detail than you probably ever imagined. When we're dealing with 609,000 events, and this is a live query running in our system from uh, you know, collecting data for the last couple of years, I'm looking at one day's worth of events totaling 600,000. Um, if I were to look at, let's say, all of last week, I'm looking at a real query of almost 6 million events. And 6 million events comes back for an entire week's worth of collection with full granularity down to every time it occurred, each event that occurred, every source and destination IP and port number. And if you needed to, for forensic capability, go back as far as you could ever imagine collecting. Let's go to all of last year. I'm looking at event data collected in an entire year last year, 44 million event transactions, and I just literally pulled that up in a real query that took less than a second. And I can drill down to any level of detail I need to prove that, that we've not lost any granularity. And it's this level of granularity as far back as you need that makes correlation possible over historical trends. It makes forensics possible. It makes discovery um, more important uh, and relevant over historical periods. Because I can now go back and watch for not just things I know about today, I can look for those transactions in the past that may be indicative of what I'm expecting in the future. I'm going down to a second in time, one little second in time that occurred a minute ago, a month ago, a year ago. It doesn't matter how far back you go. I can still look at it with full granularity down to an individual transaction that occurred between two end users. Um, a second ago, um, or for one second in time, even if it was collected three years ago.